Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, there are people here, but up in the online class, na wala pala kapaka sa ilang mga modules for midterm. Today's the fight, it's the day's the deadline of, of the grades, so if wala mo yung ipasa sa mga modules, especially sa theory of midterm, even the activities, again, I will not recommend you as part of the graduating students. Okay? Kay Gansi ka ayumi. Kung i-appeal ka mo, you know who you are already. Aware na mo kung sa mo ang wala pa nagpahan sa ilang mga requirements. Okay. So, this afternoon we will discuss a new lesson. Okay, sa physics. This will be the last lesson, eh? sa ato ang kanang klase. Because uh, what I'm about to teach, uh, to teach you right now, class, is the final. Okay, I'll, I am teaching you now the last, the final lesson for physics. So we will go back to the basic. We will uh, go back to, uh, we will relate our class today sa chemistry. Can you see the presentation now? Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, our class for today is sponsored by... Sponsored, you know. Actually, it is... Why? It is... Uh, I adapt a presentation coming from the Institute of Physics because this uh, PowerPoint presentation not any um, explanation about uh, radiation. So we'll be talking about radiation. Now, what is radiation? What is uh, radioactivity? And what is the connection of radiation to the radioisotopes? And how are we going to relate this radiation to the predictive of elements? Again, uh, we will go back to the basic. We will go back to the basic knowledge of what we have learned sa ato ang chemistry. Now, I want you to point, I want you to observe this contrast, this illustration. Can someone in this class tell me what can you observe down in the end? Take it out. Can anyone discuss? Tell me uh, what you observe in illustration or sa picture. Hi, follow me. Jade. Jade, I wala po ko na receive sa mga mga modules Jade ah. Okay, Jade. Bueno eh. Can you say something about this picture or this photo? Any idea? How about your SN? Nag-attract, sir. Kasi nag-attract na niya? Well. Okay. 
How about the other stuff? How about you? Oh, how about you? Can I hope? Or billiard? Any thoughts about what is this photo all about? Kasi topic sa chemistry ang pwede ma-relate na niyo. Sige daw. Try to do some recalling daw ko niyo. What kind of topic do you think is quite, is part of this photo? Something radiation, that, sir? No, I'm, I'm not talking about radiation because that is our topic for today. I'm talking about what kind of topic do you think we can relate to this photo? I told you, di ba, we will go back to the basics sa chemistry. Phase change, okay. Unsa ka ng fundamental ko? Ano siya fundamental unit yari sa phases of matter? Okay, it's the atom, di ba? Now the atoms, nata kita wag ng mga sub particles. We have the electrons, we have the protons, we have the neutrons, di ba? So the photos here, it's about cloud chamber. So if we go back on the card, on the existence of the universe. I think you are well aware that one of the elements that was, uh, let's say, that was developed during the formation of the universe is the helium. No? Now, what if we say that, uh, what if before, uh, of, of course, no, it was all about clouds, the formation of the clouds, the reason why we have what we call universe right now. Sa photo mo ko, Danny, is there is involvement of the subparticles to the formation of the clouds. At the same time, those particles also were the reason why we have the basis of matter, right? Now, how can we relate these atoms to the radiation? Of course, radiation will not be made without also the presence of the atoms. Remember, every light is, is composed of particles. It means every matter that is existing right now is composed of particles. No? And despite of its shape, despite of its structure, despite of the components, as long as it is made up of atom, everything can be related to the uh, as long as there is an atom, pwede create a different matter. And that includes the radiation. Now, why do we need to discuss or why do we need to go back on discussing the atoms? Actually, I think we are we are well aware that atoms are unimaginably small and cannot be seen. Okay? Though the pictures of the atoms are created by techniques such as scanning or doing foundling micros, uh, micros, uh, microscopy, uh, it was says here that the scientists did not really, did, did not really, not, did not, uh, they cannot picture out yet what will be the structure of the atom before. But how did we, how did they end up uh, creating this figure, creating this illustration that represents an uh, atom? So, what did they do? They did experiment. And when the experiment happened, uh, that was the time where in the existence of the different subparticles inside the atoms was developed. Like, for example, we have the discovery of the electron, we have the discovery of the neutron, and also the discovery of the protons, right? So, imagine an experiment lang ka sa usa ka atom, uh, the, the, the subject or the object of your experiment is the atom, the light, no? The light. The light that passes through dito sa usa ka tube, kung asa, the light or the particle that passes through the tube were already identified. So what are their identification? Ito na na-discover na, okay, uh, 
Atong gigawas ko na sa tube, those are the electrons. Those who stayed inside are the protons. That's the reason that yun, yun sila nga, ah, okay, we can now call light as a photon because this is composed of particles. And the particles that we're talking about here are the composed uh, are the composition of the atoms. So, asa na ito malilit ang kanang uh, radiation na Remember, class, an atom can create its own heat energy. Diba? It has its own energy. So, kung na ay own energy ang itaw na itong atom, possible, there will be changes that will happen. Because the chemistry is good, once we have exposed, for uh, example, no? in a chemical reaction, once we expose a compound to a catalyst, or let's say, uh, yeah, a catalyst that is strong enough to either break or fuse specific elements that is involved in the process, it needs the function of the heat. You know, the catalyst itself is the heat. The heat is the reason why there's a breakage or there's a fusion. It's the same thing when you do the radiation. The radiation has something to do with the breakage and the formation of the matter. Not only the matter, but also the element itself. Okay? Now, the random nature of radioactive decay is hard to, do, to grasp. Why? Because it needs the process or the use of the, the GM tube or the other counter type of any materials that you can use to test the radioactive decay. And seems even harder to reconcile with the notion of predictable half-life. Now, the half-life that we're talking about here this is the strength of the radiation. Most of the radiation that we know good is uh, are those uh, radiation lang na basic lang, okay? Actually, we do have different kind of radiation. We have uh, naturally type radiation, and we also have this uh, uh, processed or man-made. Okay, we will be discussing that one later. And then, because of this, because of the experiment, they have now statistics that will that will actually you know, give us a good prediction on how large number of atoms really is. Okay, like how many atoms do you think is inside the human's body? You will say that it's not about million lang, right? It's about millions on on, on its power. Because we are again composed of atoms, and, and then the radiation can either break the composition of atom or fuse more, no? That will either change the the one that the, they'll change the state of what the atom looks like and what the atom supposedly looks like, or it will develop more, right? It will add more change. It will either it will remove. Okay, that is how important atom in this discussion because it is the function, uh, it is the main, okay, it's the, it, it was a main character for the radiation. Now, basically, we have what we call fear of radiation. What are the things that we fear when we talk about radiation? So, we have here, you know, uh, most radiation are usually undetectable by human cells. You can only sense the radiation pag magsakit na ka. If you are already confined with a sickness caused by radiation, other consequences, a serious, uh, a serious consequences, is the formation of the cancer or the activation of the cancer cells. Again, no, ang atong body, uh, all the parts of our body have cancer cells. That's that's a fact, no. Nati cancer cells atong body jo, di ba wala because for abetog hindi pwede mabuhi ang dautan kung wala'y buutan. Hindi pwede mabuhi ang buutan kung wala'y dautan. So, your body is composed of cancer cells. Sleeping cancer cells. I think you're well aware of that one. No? So, when was uh, when will be the time na pwede sila ma-activate? Once you're exposed already with uh, with a triggered uh, one, kung matriggered na siya, ma-activate na siya sa iya. And one of the cause of that of that and trigger is the radiation. So for the for the formation of the cancers, it will uh, it will kind of, it will take time for the cancer to, to to build up in your body because it needs more power from the radiation to 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 activate to be activated. So it needs 
uh, more volume of radiation or more exposure pa para ma-con siya, mabuhi siya, ma-build up siya. And of course, it contaminates, lo- uh, it has a, contami- a contamination that is long-lasting. If your body, if our body is very active when it comes to this, comes to absorbing the radiation, then the contamination of that will be long-lasting. And that's what happens at Chernobyl, okay? Like, we have the example here in Chernobyl, no? where the species, living species, non or non-living or non-living things who are exposed by radiation which are exposed to radiation actually they develop changes you know some of them some of the species may mo siyang kwan and um may uban may nag-change ang iyang figure ang uban non-living things may change ang iyang kanang structure and composition there's a lot of changes have uh, happened because the the sequence of their codes were now far different from what in uh, from its original na, na code. So we will be quite I will discuss it one later. And of course when we are so unaware of what is radiation is all about, the background about radiation. Radiation is not only uh, not all the time radiation is bad. Okay, there are two functions of radiation. It can be beneficial or a threat. Beneficial sha in terms of uh, its uses, medical, mechanical, okay, experimental, clinical, etc. And also we have uh, the, 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 uh, as a threat, okay? either it can be used as a weapon or it can be used as a political interest or when you are required, when, we, uh, when the, the, the company itself or the industry, the, the industry itself did not handle it well and let the you know, the, the product of the nation flows together uh, or flows to, uh, through the water, flows to the quad, to air, flows to land. So those are the things that is, uh, that is uh, uh, threatening, you know, besides radiation. Okay. We need to be educated about what is radiation is all about. Why? Because there are most or there are some basic misconceptions that are that are spreading. So if you know already the, the purpose and the use of this radiation, uh, if you are very interest, uh, interested no, sa iyahang kwan, if you are very interested sa iyahang, sa iyahang uses, you can actually do some research and try to find out what are the, what are the other uses of the radiation. But the most common use of the radiation is what we have now. Phones, laptops, any type of machineries, anything that produces its own electrolytes, uh, anything that is producing heat, uh, even the food, even the, the, I think everything that we can see that is composed of machinery, those are the product of radiation. So if you have a basic misconception about what is radiation is all about, it, it, it's all about negative aspect lang sa radiation, then uh, hindi nga pwede maingon nga di na lang ka magamit o di na lang ka mukhang sa radiation because kung may nakarong lugar nga ang radiation is bad, it's negative. Yes, it's bad, it's negative, pero take a look sa iyong result. No? Take a look sa iyong product, sa radiation. It's very observable. Okay? You can see it, you can touch it, you can smell it, you can use it. So a conventional approach that puts theoretical ideas first can be a barrier to understanding. Uh, you know, you cannot judge the person. You can't say, it. You, you just can't uh, kind of um, dictate the person to say, okay, hey, ayaw radiation, okay, bad mo na. No? So you have to be more on the ground. You have to be educated about the, the, the concept behind uh, radiation. Now, what is more on the what is more on educating yourself about radiation? Okay, take note that radiation are the, the concept of radiation were already tried and they are proven effective. Why? Because it come uh, it it is based from uh, it started from a macroscopic phenomenon, and then after discovering the existence of this 
specific na, na concept about radiation, we move the concept, we navigate the concept to, through microscopic description and explanation. That's the reason why we have now different types of radiation. We have the natural and the man-made. The man-made now is something that we are enjoying, something that is now remarkably uh, pasted in this atuang, Table of elements, okay? Nakabutang na siya, no? Nakapunod din siya. Ngayon mo lang siyang part. So, the use of a range of examples to illustrate the relative scale sizes of the atoms and nuclei, which is, again, involved in the formation of radiation, really helps the scientists to, what? To expand more the idea on the uses of the radiation. That radiation is not just about how the sun shines, how the sun reflects to the different uh, gloss, glossy objects, how it creates prism, and etc. But sun can also be a source of radiation. Now, the involvement of radiation through the different activities is what we call the radioactivity. Uh, the name itself explains everything. So what are the contexts of the radioactivity or the involvement of the, of the radiation? in the field of the different uh, know, subjects. No? First, we have medical physics. What is the use of this one? The use of the radiation is that all of the radioactive materials is used for the diagnosis and for the treatment. Most cancer patients do not undergo any uh, operation. Some of them were lasered now. So, with the use of the laser, which is the product of radiation, we cannot kill cancer cells without even opening and touching our body. Right? If you scan, then most of the cancer cells will be uh, and uh, will be killed. Will be it, it will not be removed, but it will it will be deactivated. For the nuclear electric, so chemistry we have there so discussions of chemistry you know, about the, the, the role of the, the radiation to the nuclear plants, or the role of the radiation to the nuclear activities. Now, the nuclear, the nuclear electric was made because of the two, either about fission, by the use of the fission reactor, or the fusion. How can we create a nuclear power or nuclear electric? So, sa nuclear electric mong good, ma-made lang na siya plus, if you will be splicing the atoms into different parts. No? Why do we splice? What if ito ka, hindi ka kaluto o ka ng corn, sunny side up ng itlog, kaya mo na lungagon. No? Kaya mo na na-slice, kaya mo na na siyang buakon. It's the same thing we do the nuclear electric. Buakon yung mga atom, para si atom mga nag-ashay, kaugod yung energy inside, since the energy cannot be destroyed or created, why not transform the energy of the atom into an electricity? Okay? So, you go back to the process. We can either break you know, through fission reactor or fuse the other atoms to the existing atoms to create more heat or more collision. More collision, more heat, more interaction, more heat. So, the product of the nuclear electric now will be what we call the radiation. Okay? That's the reason why most of the people are very afraid, they are very afraid kung mag-topic na about nuclear plants because they thought na pagbubuto ang nuclear plants is uh, cause of radiation, which the, the, the thought is true. But the benefit, the, the, the benefit of the nuclear plant is very important also because Hindi na siya ga-produce of contrast, carbon dioxide, methane, ethane, or carbon monoxide. Hindi na siya ga-produce niya na. Ga-produce siya mist, no? Ga-produce na siya o kaya ng murag... Murag fog. Yeah. A, a, a moisturized, cloud-like na smoke. Something like that. But it's not dangerous to the environment. Uh, it adds... Uh, it, 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 sorry, but the effect is, is the cooler effect. It's a cooling effect because it adds more 
uh, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen at the atmosphere, which is really needed for the protection from the sun. We also have food irradiation, wherein the reliable info of the food study agency consent. Uh, it's all about why, no? the production of the food, which is the product of the irradiation also. Uh, since some of the manufactured food or industrialized food are made up or are made through a machine, then we can say that those food that, we, that, the, that, that was produced through a machine were really uh, exposed to radiation. So, if you have junk food, are, are you exposed to the radiation? Well, the answer is yes. You know? That's why, again, in most of the food, you didn't throw it at the end because that can also trigger the, the, the activation of the cancer cells inserted in your body. And also, other uses of the, of the radioactive materials. We have uh, radioactive materials can be used in the industry, agriculture, estimating age of the earth. Right? They're using quant, mga, mga, mga relative monitoring uh, quant device okay, based from the radiation or based from the heat of the volcano. Also, we have archaeology and domestic smoke detectors. Also, no, uh, the improper disposal of the nuclear waste can also be observed caused by the effect of the radioactivity or the radiation. Now, this is a very unavoidable problem to solve because most of the companies or the industries, they really uh, they don't even care about their nuclear waste or their uh, radioactivity waste. Uh, some of the waste will now flow to the water. Some of them will be what that, that will be absorbed by, by the soil, and some of them will will uh, traditional on sa hangin, yung lakadilkado ang mga uh, ang nuclear waste cause by radiation. Of course, no, the history of the nuclear weapons, uh, most of the nation or the country, ang ilang panlaban community sa mga war is the uh, nuclear weapons, nuclear bombs, no? the espionage or the other espionage and the international politics. They're using nuclear weapon as as a, as a final uh, was one ba? Parang kita pang last kita o nabanak kita o. And you know, already what will happen, no? Pag bubuto ang nuclear weapons, okay? That will produce radiation. And that's what happens in Chernobyl. Okay? May mga alino nga nang apikit, yung mga species nga tulong ka. Tulong na kabuok ang tiil, tulong na kabuok ang kudlo sa kamot, tulong kabuok mata, mulay dalunggan, etc. Okay, so sources versus radiation. Now, uh, I'll, I'll just have to cut into the, uh, the point of this one. The different, the different sources cause by radiation are the following. The, 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 the existence of the alpha ray, the beta ray, and the gamma ray were product of the radioactive materials produced through ionizing radiation. So it is uh, an experimental way of developing new type of radioactive material. Just like what happened, uh, just like what, we're, what we are experiencing right now, when we have the cell phone, there is a ray or there is uh, a radioactive material that was produced by uh, let's say, uh, an ionized radiation here in our, uh, in our devices like cell phones. Also, most of the ionizing radiation uh, materials that we use were used in medical, uh, in, in, in every medical aspect, like for example, X-rays, you know, uh, for chemotherapy, or even kani ang pag-scan sa temperature, it's using uh, radiation. So, those are the one. Those are the the, the different materials that was produced because of the because of ionizing the uh, or it is produced through ionizing the radiation. Now, when can we say that we are absorbing the radiation? As a human person, as a uh, uh, as as we human, you know, 
we are tend to conserve more the radiation rather than releasing it. Why? Because uh, since the effect of the radiation will, will take time, uh, what will happen in your body is that you will be observing changes. Okay? The radiation can be absorbed depending on the level of activity of the material or the object. And it says in the study also that we can re-emit the radiation after some time. Okay? So, pasabot na if you're exposed already or if you have absorbed, absorbed already the radiation, there will be no pain that. Pasabot na that will now be uh, inside your body and that will now give an effect. Okay? You'll be contaminated. So, what are the other focus on the radiation? Uh, when we talk about becoming quantitative, we're talking about the strength of the radioactive materials, especially the activity of the materials. Like as humans, we have we are we are prone to that one. Also the rate of the change of the strength or the half-life. It will not be based from what kind of element was exposed by a radioactive materials and which one is active when it comes to absorbing the radiation from the surroundings. And then also, no, radiation damage possibly done to a person or radiation dose. These are radiation that are man-made. Some radiation, especially phones, are very, very dangerous because there are many effects on body. You can see your mouth, you can pull out your ulo, you can pull out your mouth, you can pull out your mouth, you can pull out your mouth. So those are the things that we can experience. It was under the microscope when you talk about radiation. So there's other things to be considered. You know, what actually happens when radiation is emitted? What will happen if you remove radiation to the different materials? Do you think natin mabuhat? Is the material left behind still radioactive? Even if atan na natwan? So the answer will If the material left behind is is either radioactive or not, it will it, uh, it will what? It will observe the what? The effect of, of what? It will only emit as it will go back. Okay? Because you are exposed already. And what happens if the radiation is absorbed? And how is it possible that radiation can cause as well as cure cancer? So some of the radiation were answered already because some of the medical uh, some of the medical institutions uh, are actually using a machine that produces radiation that can kill cancer cells. Take note, the nature of the alpha, beta, and gamma damage the DNA and creates many random decays uh, that makes a pattern. So, we call it decoding. We are decoding genetically the virus. Not only the living things, but also the code with the non-living things. Na effect ang alpha beta gamma rays. Now we also have here ionization. The ionization, my God, is the reason why we have we have the different type of radioactive materials produced by the radiation. Na, but through ionization which was discovered way back 1896 by, by Becquerel. So, how did he end up getting the idea of the word radiation or the word radioactivity? When he investigates the phosphorescence in uranium salts. So, this element, phosphorescence and uranium are part of the element. So, what is uranium? Actually, no, si uranium is part of the is is it's part of the radioactive element. So, if we will, if the phosphorescence there is added, we're in. It, uh, the, the light was coming from uh, the light was produced through phosphorus. 
invisible rays were were observed because of the ionizing radiation from a fluorescent substance, potassium uranyl sulfate, and there will be de uh, there are detected uh, photographic plate also when the radiation was ionized. So, simple kaya ang pagkadiskabo sa sa radioactivity was no like using the phosphorus lang, the light that was produced, and also the involvement of the uh, uranium salt to, compano, to, to strengthen more the capacity of the light to be produced. So in 1903, Betrell shared a Nobel Prize with Pierre and Marie Curie for discovering radioactivity. So there is a documentation about this one. You can actually see that the documentation about how the three discovered the radioactivity. It will be very interesting for you to, to see. Plus. Take note though, the vitriol here is the SI unit of activity of the radioactive sample. It means that in every one uh, BQ, it has one not least k per second, or one BQ is equals to one over S. Mula siya all frequency. Diba? That's the frequency of so adult human has an activity of 4,000 bicryl. So the 4,000 bicryl here means we are very proactive when it comes to radiation. So let's be careful. No? Okay, what other things was used? Or what other things used to do to detect the ionizing radiation? First is from the cloud chamber to the animation to gold leaf electroscope for from Giger Moller tube, ionization chamber, photographic film, bubble chamber, uh, skin tillation, anchors, semiconductor detectors, and also multi warp proportional chamber, and etc. So we have many ways to detect ioni uh, ionizing radiation. But take note, the most common one is in the machine. No? Because you build machine because of the radiation. Okay. So what is a radiation dose? We have different kind of doses. We have the absorbed and equivalent. The absorbed dose here is where in the amount of energy was absorbed by the cells and it measures in grades. Means that in one grade, it has one mole absorbed per kilogram of tissue. For the equivalent dose, a measure of possible harm from radiation also, taking account of the radiation type measures in savers. So, I want you to see this table here. No? Gamma rays has a few factor compared to beta rays also. And the neutrons and photons also has uh, a great factor, but not as great as alpha particles. Because alpha particles have 10. So, imagine the strength of the... Uh, Radiation. This radiation here, the 1, 2, 3, gamma, beta, and alpha, these are man made, and the neutron and photons are experimental. The effect of radiation to the health, first, it does not affect the cell, but it will damage it, uh, it damages the cell, but the cell can, can repair itself. And also, radiation can kill cells or can produce cancerous uh, or can can be uh this macro macrate with cancer cells. And okay, and have it is decoding the genetic code in our body, especially in our DNA. So then mga burus no mga myth no myth no magawas kastamag uh uh, eclipse. It, ako lang bata na na malahi ay nao o na may problema. Actually, uh, there is if you are directly exposed to radiation, but if you are not directly exposed to radiation, I think more may problema. Because according to here, the cells, uh, the cells DNA may di may ma may ma uh, may observe some changes through the decoding process, but still, it can reproduce itself. Diba? So, 
it's the same thing. When you are too exposed with the radiation, either your, your data will be decoded or you will produce cancer cells. That is also happening in the of the That's why, kung mag-equip sa saan, gawas, tingnan naman, mahalong sila that pwede ma, pwede, pwede ma, ma, na may tabo sa DNA formation sa mga babies inside sa mga this womb. So that's the reason why most of the women do this with gawas. Okay. Hadlock sila. Also now, if the sex cell is hit by radiation, it will now create an, a, a, a genetic mutation. So changes to uh, genes, uh, changes to genes metabolism. Okay, so there are three principles when you are talking about, or when we are talking about radiological, uh, when we are, uh, what do you call this one? When we tackle radiological concepts, we need to think about these three principles first. First, justification, the optimization, and the dose of limitation. For the justification, you have to wait for, you have to wait first which one is beneficial, which one. For the optimization, you have to be more uh, reasonable about why do you think radiant uh, or radiation is bad to the health and why and what will be the effect uh, of the radiation to the body. But again, the, the ironic part is that most of the products of radiation can, can like, cure cancer or can cure cancer or can kill cancer cells. So we just switch, no? And the dose limitation. It achieves the total dose for the workers below. Uh, I think it's not quite a very important. The dose limitation means when you are more uh, well aware on what is the, what the limitation behind the any radio active activity. Okay, so we have school based training, no? Uh, I will not discuss it well anymore because it's not quite important. It's just one motion. Culture lunch. Okay. How about experiments? Okay. So experiments, we investigate natural reflectivity that, that is happening. We detect ionizing radiation that resulted to cloud chamber and spark. We also have or spark, uh, spark counter, oscilloscope, and GM cube. We also have ionizing radiation under properties. So we will go back to the creative element then. Actually, sa next discussion at the class, we'll be discussing about the connection of the alpha, beta, gamma rays to the different uh, coefficients or different isotopes. Okay. Next time. Uh, Okay. We have a simple model of experimental decay. Uh, exponential decay, I'm sorry.